So we're here with Tom Hearn, the producer of Pork Pie, the New Zealand film that's just been released. And it's a remake of Goodbye Pork Pie. How yeah. much pressure was, did you feel the pressure of a sort of taking on a iconic New Zealand piece of culture? Uh, not really, to be honest. Yeah, like um, both Matt and I, right from um, the beginning, really just made a decision not to buy into that pressure. Um, Obviously, we both really loved the original film, otherwise we wouldn't be reimagining it in 2017. So, And of course, also, we pay huge respect to uh, those filmmakers who were pioneers with Goodbye Pork Pie. Reimagining the film, we knew that we had to sort of be free of that pressure to uh, conform to or to try and... Um, try and uh, think about what that audience or fans of the original film may want in our film. We just had to have a crack at um, doing it our way and, and really try and breathe a, a fresh energy into into a new version of the story. How long did you take over the script to try and find yeah. a, a context that worked for a modern audience? Yeah, so Matt had actually been working on the script for about two years before I came on board the project. Um, and they had hit a few sort of... Um, roadblocks, excuse the bad pun, um, and uh, Matt came to me with the script, and that was a, just over two years ago. Um, yeah, and I guess, yeah, I could see in that draft that Matt had at that point, I could see a really amazing potential in the project, but um, one of the first things I did when working with Matt was really just try and get to know him and, and bring more of him into this version of the film. Um, and Matt would hate me saying it, but he's actually um, quite a romantic. And uh, I, I, I felt like there was something that we could really work with there that, that is, is quite different to the original film. Um, but I think that's something that Matt's done a beautiful job with is, is even though it's an action comedy, I think the film's got, you know, a big beating heart as well. Um, so, yeah, so we worked closely together on the script thereafter for about a year or so. And then that was the script that I took out and... Um, finance the movie around basically. Tell me a little bit about what's happened with the audiences you've been screening to. Uh, look, it's just there have been amazing responses to it. Um, we had our premiere at the Civic Theatre last Thursday, so you know, roughly 2,000 people there, and it was such an amazing experience watching a comedy with that many people at that incredibly majestic theatre um, because you get to share those laughs with, you know, it really like it was, it was amazing and spontaneous applause. So then after that, we hit the road basically, and I've just finished up that tour uh, last night in Invercargill. So I've been traveling uh, the length of the country the last week. Um, and we've been having screenings along the way. And honestly, it's just like the audience reaction has been so amazing. I think this is, you know, it was always our intent for this to be a film for the people really, you know, and, and something that first and foremost is fun. Um, and a laugh, you know, um, and it's both of those things. And so, yeah, it's been really exciting. And also just going to a bunch of those small towns and stuff like that down the country, like a couple of days ago, we had a um, pie eating competition in um, Makatu in the Bay of Plenty. And that sort of, that was so cool. All of our actors there, a convoy of minis pulling into town. And um, yeah, it's just kind of, I don't know, that, that was just a little moment for me that I went, you know, this is who pork pie is for, is for the, all New Zealanders, you know, first and foremost. And um, yeah, maybe not so much the, the intelligentsia or the art house audience, you know, maybe as much, but hopefully that they'll enjoy it as well. But it, it really is for, you know, your everyday um, middle New Zealander. And um, yeah, it seems to be working for them, which is awesome. And because this is a this this chat is for the directors yeah. guild, let's just talk a little bit about how you watched Matt work the film. How did he? The performances are gorgeous. Dean's mm. amazing. It's it's a really lovely little ensemble mm. that you guys put together. Tell me a little bit about the process around that. Yeah, well, casting is just such a crucial part of the process, as you know, and. Um, yeah, I think when we found um, Dean and James and uh, we tested them together and saw their chemistry, that's when we really started to feel like we had a movie because we spend so much of the time 
so much of the movie uh, in the car with these three actors, you know, and um, the chemistry, uh, the chemistry between them was always going to be so crucial. So, yeah, I mean, Dino Gorman is an amazing actor, really amazing actor. He's like, it's such a high ratio of his takes that are usable as well. So, you know, in any one scene, we we would have, you know, two or three choices in the cut of different ways we could play the scene. And that is such a luxury. The other actors were remarkable as well. And what we wanted to do was, we wanted to make sure with those supporting cast members that uh, they were really sort of electric and memorable, you know, because some of them would only have one or two scenes, the likes of Geraldine Brophy or Thomas Rima. Sainsbury, Rima Tiwiata. And so, yeah, I love what all of those actors have done with their characters that, you know, even though they might only, they might not have that much time on screen, they're so explosive and memorable. Working with Matt Murphy, I mean, I just loved working with him. Yeah, he's... He's a very, um, very considered, intelligent, sensitive um, director. Um, he's sort of like, when you first meet him, he's a little bit hard to read, like he's almost a little bit aloof. Um, and, but yeah, he's, he's very tuned into the material and a quality that I really appreciate in a director is just if if I know that they are living the film really you know like that they are 100 20 percent on board to do whatever it takes to make that film the best it can be and I totally experienced that with Matt yeah you've got more chase car chases than I think any uh, is this a record the most car chases in a New Zealand film <laughs> You reckon I, I reckon it, it would be, be. Yeah. shucks yeah must be stressful as a producer that's a lot of money on the roll mm. and you know potential disaster around yeah. every corner talk talk a little bit about from a producer's perspective what it's like to try and mount a film that involves i don't know how many car chases mm. oh it's a huge logistical challenge yeah no doubt about it um i guess what gave me confidence um working with matt is matt this is Matt's first feature film, but um, he's a highly experienced director. He's been directing commercials for a long, long time at a high level, and a lot of those are car commercials. Um, so he had a lot of experience in terms of action. And so when it came to the action, he was extremely prepared. So he had, ever, he had built his own previs um, or animatic of the sequence. Okay. Each of those sequences, he would storyboard it, fully shot frame by frame. Um, so we went into those sequences knowing exactly what we needed to get and Matt's also smart enough into coming at it from a directorial perspective that if we really felt the crunch, he'd know looking at his boards what shots he could drop and what he couldn't. And so we'd always go into those days extremely prepared. The whole team were with an A plan, B plan and a C plan in case things didn't go our way. So yeah, it's a huge logistical challenge. It's a nightmare in fact, like trying to pull that side of things together um, on what is not a huge budget, you know, like I don't think there have been many films made with the amount of craziness that we captured on screen for that kind of money. And the, and the people that I've shared the film with in Hollywood just can't believe that we made it for that money. And that's a huge credit to our whole crew really and, and all, all the people who were just generous enough to get behind us and, and make it happen for what we did have, you know. Um, what you also captured was what feels like a lot of fun. I mean, it feels like fun. Was it fun? Oh, absolutely it was fun. Yeah, it's like, it's fly by the seat of your pants, like pretty high intensity, high pressure stuff. But man, it was fun for sure. Um, like it's a traveling circus, the length of the country, you know, and so much family. Like uh, uh, my partner was the makeup designer. Uh, Matt's partner was an associate producer on the project and also our post supervisor. There are about five Lawrence's, Bruno Lawrence's kids and grandkids on the movie, about 10 Murphy's. Yeah, my dad was a swing driver. So like we were a big motley circus traveling down the country, you know, and it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. And that, it, yeah, you're right. Like what comes 
up on the screen. That's that's that that's was one of our main objectives. Really, was to make it a fun movie. That seems like a good place to stop. Yeah. Congratulations! It's, it it is fun. It let's hope New Zealand gets to see it and enjoy it in the cinema because comedy works best when you're with a gang. Absolutely, go and see it on the biggest screen that you can. Yeah. Thanks very much.